There are more all-wheel drive sports sedans on the market than we can ever remember. But what happens to a car's sporty driving dynamics when changed from rear or front drive to all-wheel drive, especially considering the added weight that comes with it? Our job was to find out and determine which of these all-wheel drive wonders keeps the sport in sports sedan. So we rounded up the Audi A4 2.0T Quattro, the BMW 325XI, the Infiniti G35X, the Lexus IS250 all-wheel drive, the Mazda Speed 6, the Subaru Legacy 2.5 GT Spec B, and the Volvo S40 T5 all-wheel drive. Of course, we put all seven cars through our usual battery performance testing, acceleration, braking, skid pad, and slalom, but we also rung them out in the wide open Southern California desert. Up and down one of our favorite twisty mountain roads, and on an almost one minute long autocross course, which is a safe way to determine a car's true handling abilities, or lack thereof. We attacked the cones, only sending a few to the slalom cone graveyard, in both dry and wet conditions. A good result at an autocross course requires agility, grippy tires, and stout low-end grunt out of the slow corners. After we tallied up the scores, here's how they finished. The Volvo is a good-looking and reasonably priced car with surprising low-end torque from its Turbo 5, which helped it to a fifth-place finish at the autocross, but its suspension lacks feedback. If rear-drive cars are your thing, you'll love the G35X. Its rear-biased all-wheel drive makes it the oversteer king, while its 280-horsepower V6 really goes. The car feels dated, though. Despite only finishing fifth, the Mazda Speed 6 is a good all-around car with loads of power. Here, assistant road test editor Sean Bailey demonstrates that he does, in fact, know how to use the e-brake. We love the cutting-edge styling of the Lexus IS, but not its feeble power or portly curb weight. It's an excellent chassis waiting for more power. Here, an editor uses, um, all of the road in the BMW, a car which, like the Lexus, suffers from added weight and a lack of power. It wasn't the ultimate driving machine in this test. The Subaru Legacy was the outright performance king, with ferocious straight-line speed and tossable handling. It was the top dog at the autocross. The Audi is the most well-rounded of the bunch. Though its Turbo 4 is down on power to some, it makes up for it with unflappable handling. If you go off the road in this car, you can chalk it up to operator error. Besides trying to establish which of these seven cars was the best, we also wanted to find out whether an all-wheel drive sports sedan is an oxymoron. Turns out, it isn't, as not only is there plenty of sport in these sedans, but in some cases they outperform the two-wheel drive siblings from which they were derived. Check out the accompanying videos for more in-depth coverage on each car.